everybody what's going on welcome back to another episode of spanner so recently the little car developed a bit of an oil leak um so i've been underneath and um looks like it's some gasket that's actually failed because it's probably shat itself the amount of use it's had so yeah it requires changing so whilst i'm at it i'm just going to drain the oil out and do the filter as well it's just good practice and saves using the old oil again i have some assistance here this afternoon hello reese is here doing a filming for an upcoming video of his own actually so yeah keep an eye out for that one so i'm just running a bit of engine flush in through the car at the minute just to sort of clean the system out and stuff like that it's um i think it's winds i think that i was using so yeah run it for about 20 minutes then we'll get up on the ramp and we'll have a look see what's going on so yeah for those who are interested obviously this was the uh this is the engine flush i've used um so yeah I'd literally just run it in the car for about 20 minutes at operating temperature and obviously it cleans and uh, obviously protects all the engine components as well so, yeah. Right, let that do its job and then we'll crack on. Yeah, whilst we're waiting for the uh, engine flush to do its thing, check out the new grill that's, uh, that arrived a couple of days ago, which I've had a chance to uh, put in. Like I said, it's not really worthy of its own video because it only took me about two minutes to put in. So, yeah, your, uh, what your thoughts are on it? Like I said, obviously, the old, uh, the old one was looking a little bit tired. Yeah, I like the look of it. I, I like the D badge look, to be honest with you. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. All right, so I'm just under the car at the minute, and you can see obviously where the sump gasket is actually leaking from. So yeah, so yeah. Right, let's get the oil drained out, and then uh, yeah, we'll start from there. Love a make do and mend attitude. <laughs> she's coming? Yeah, she's turning. Nice. So we should be able to get that off my hand. I used to do it on the MX on our 2.5 MX5. Alright. How have I roped you into doing this? <laughs> no, it's turning. It's where's turning, the, where's it? the cloth? Ah, that's a good question. Nice. Oh, it doesn't look too bad in it, does it? Be fair. No, no. Where's that? Ah, oh, that's fine. That's best, uh, best amount of oil I've seen come out of an engine in a while. Mm. Apart from Bell. Still drinking. Right, there we are guys so that's the um that's the sump off obviously the old gasket's been removed as well i think i'm going to just clean this up just a little bit i did have to drop the man uh, the two bolts out of the um top of the manifold as well which is a bit of a pain in the ass so yeah but yeah no it's all come off quite nice to be fair so i'll we'll get the new gasket on and then reassembly time Right, welcome back to another day. Um, there is a reason for another day. So me being a Knowles and not actually checking um, certain things, I managed to order the wrong gasket, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. So I've been scrambling over the last couple of days to try and find one, and we have managed to find one. 
luckily did find a local company, um, APDS, which is just around the corner from here. Um, it managed to find an off-the-shelf part. So, um, yeah, that's quite a uh, quite a find for one of these because I've been struggling to find find one um, even online, really. So here is the uh, gasket that was that I bought online, and clearly that one is too big. So yeah, right. Let's get rid of that. That's about all that's useful for. So now we can actually get on with putting this, putting the car back together now. So yeah, here is the actual right size gasket. Now I've had to put in the little, uh, put in the little metal rings. Um, here um because well the other, I, I thought something was up because the other one didn't actually come with any of the metal rings in it so i'm just thinking well am i gonna have to reuse them or right so obviously whilst uh, obviously i've been waiting for the new gasket to arrive i've put the old i put something back on obviously there's no gasket in it but i've just weatherproofed it just so obviously we don't get any rust under here so yeah first job obviously we're gonna take the four bolts out obviously that I put back in to hold the sump in place and then we're going to get that new gasket lined up. I knew keeping that old duvet would come in handy for something. Right so before we go any further I'm just going to uh, make sure that she's right. Yes she is. That is a lot better news. Right, I can stop panicking now. So now we have the right gasket, which is good. Right, so now we've established that's the right gasket, and the sump has actually, I know I've emptied all the last little bits out of the sump as well. So yeah, let's crack on and put her back in. So that is all the uh, nuts and bolts back in, and she's all nice and tight. So next job, I need to reattach the downpipe, um, and that's pretty much it. Obviously, I need to fill her up with some oil. Obviously, I've got the new oil filter on already because um, I did that the other day. Um, so yeah, we'll put the exhaust back on, get some oil in her, and see if she'll fire up. Right. So I've just done up. The uh, downpipe bolts, obviously all these bolts are done up now. I, all I need to do now is put the inspection cover back on, on the gearbox. So there's three bolts, there's one up here, there's one in the middle, and there's one up the other side as well, just up there. So yeah, let's get that back on, and we'll crack on. Okay, right, that is everything tightened up. The inspection cover is back on. The downpipe is done back up. So now, all we need to do is pop some oil in there. And yeah, we should be good to go. And there we go. So down off the ramps, she's nice and full with oil. Everything's done up, nothing's leaking. I would call that a definite success. Little car lives again. So there we are guys. Um, yeah, bit of a pain in the ass, but uh, we got there eventually. So yeah. Um, so yeah, thank you to uh, Reese um, for coming down the other day and obviously um, assisting with the first part. Um, and also thank you to uh, 
APD and Yate for um, obviously supplying the uh, supplying the gasket. Um, that was really really helpful, guys. Um, obviously helped us out with a really big uh, big hole there. So yeah, really appreciate that. So that's all the basic maintenance done um, for a little while. I have got a, um, a fuel sender to change, um, but obviously I need to uh, order that from uh, overseas because you can't. Well, I haven't found one in the UK yet um, for this car. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do a bit more searching on that one. So the Spanner's videos are gonna be uh, a little less frequent now, obviously until after Christmas, um, because obviously we've got Christmas to pay for and everything like that. But after Christmas, um, we should be getting started with some modifications. So modifications obviously will include uh, obviously wheels and we'll probably look at a new exhaust for it as well. Um, I'm still undecided about what wheels I want. Um, so yeah, obviously if uh, anyone's got any suggestions or uh, some which are going at reasonable prices, then do let me know. So yeah, thank you very much all for watching. Um, I'm gonna go now and uh, give the little car a little bit of a spin round. So yeah, hope you've all enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Ta-da!